It's KG1065. It's John Taylor, and it's a beautiful day in the gayborhood. A beautiful day for a gayber like promo homo Nicholas Snow. Hey, Nicholas, how you doing? Hey, John, I love that. I have to start opening all my shows with it. You could this Friday night at the Cultural Center. Something really cool is happening, and it's really a moment in queer media history celebrating the 30th anniversary of the taping of the very first episode of Nicholas Snow's groundbreaking public access TV show, Tinseltown's Queer. It's the actual 30th anniversary Friday? Yes, the first episode was taped April 28, 1993, in the Santa Monica cable public access studios three days after the march on washington which happened on my 31st birthday april 25th that year see if you were still in los angeles you wouldn't be giving anybody a clue as to your actual age at this point but here in palm I, springs I, you're you're chicken I, I turned 61 yesterday oh, april 25th. happy birthday baby this was actually a big deal because you know being that it was los angeles you were reaching up to six hundred thousand households on cable back then Yes, throughout most of the 1990s, and uh, but people locally know me most for my promo homo TV years. And Friday night, I am going to show highlights of the promo homo TV years. But in preparing for this event, I accidentally produced a full length documentary. That accidentally happens when you have 30 years history, right? I accidentally produced a documentary. It actually is a complete film. I'm not going to make people watch it because they're not expecting anything that long. But I'm going to do a sneak preview of either the first part or portions of the documentary. Do you want to know one of the interviews I have in my documentary? Who? I interviewed Quentin Crisp. That's queer royalty, really. One of the the pioneers, you know, going way back when. And, of course, I was at the Playboy Mansion, and I was at APLA's summer party and interviewed people like Christine Baranski and Hugh Hefner and Katie Segal and so many other people. But for me, John, the stars are the people that have been on the front lines of our movement. I'm so more impressed with them than the celebrities, but I'm honored to have interviewed all these people. I announced a show one time at the Playboy Mansion, and my straight brother was like, what a waste! Hugh Hefner, though, he did open a lot of doors, not just bedroom doors, but got people having a conversation about sexuality in a way that wasn't shameful. Well, in an interview, I actually asked him if he felt like his work had opened uh, open possibilities around sexual expression or something like that. You know, the huge thing that's happening at this event Friday, John, is people get to see you in person oh, because yes. you are you are my MC, and you're going to be conducting an intimate Q and A with me. We can keep our clothes on. Yes, uh, we will. After the, I don't. <laughs> We'd I don't have to give the money back. On. We would have to yeah. refund tickets if we took the clothes off. They, they want to see something good. Uh, so this evening is going to feature some uh, archival interviews and footage, some of Hollywood's biggest stars and giants in the uh, civil rights movement and the, the fight for LGBTQ plus rights over the years, some of our allies. Who was the person that surprised you the most? Quentin Crisp uh, surprised me. I mean, I sort of remembered I had interviewed him. I had digitized the tape, but the first time I watched it was this past weekend. And I just I just can't believe I was in the same room with him, let alone have preserved video of me interviewing him. Look back, what, a week and a half ago, we were all doing drag for drag in downtown Palm Springs at Forever Maryland. And who was chronicling that for posterity? You. Speaking of which, one of the episodes I did was around the 25th anniversary of Stonewall, and three of the four of us are in drag in that episode. Now, I don't know what's going to be shown this night, but uh, beginning May 1st, the entire documentary, the two-and-a-half-hour documentary, will be available for people that subscribe to Promo Homo TV voluntarily on my Patreon page for $10 a month. They can sign up for a month and watch the documentary and leave, or they can stick around for a lot of this content that I'll ultimately have on promohomo.tv for everyone, but I'll unroll it exclusively and first for my patrons. All right, people can go to patreon.com slash promohomotv and tons, hundreds of free episodes at promohomo.tv. And, of course, the event bright for Tinsel Town's queer activism, Hollywood style. It's this Friday night. It's happening at the Cultural Center. Tickets are only 12 bucks. Search event bright for keyword Tinsel Town. Well, thanks for stopping by the neighborhood, Nicholas. And thanks for always being there with a camera and recording our history. It's going to be around for a long, long time. You're going to be immortal.
Oh, my gosh. Well, I want to have a date before I die. <laughs> okay. Nicholas Snow, we'll see you Friday night. Thanks for being on K-Gay, honey. I love K-Gay. And we love you back. Bye, honey.